I am your crypto astrologer here to give you this week's crypto astrology report and a horoscope update on what the planets are doing. So this is a significant week. Uh, first of all, crypto, Bitcoin, the crypto market overall is going up this week. I do have targets in my members area, uh, but more importantly, so the thing that people need to understand about this market, that it's a brand new market, right? Never existed. Nothing's ever operated like this before. And day traders often get it wrong in terms of where the market's about to go. And what I am about is the swing trades, which happen sometimes over the course of several months. It sometimes takes a few months for these levels to unfold. And if you can hit the peaks and then buy back on the lows, then you are going to outperform the market. You're also never going to miss those profit opportunities because it doesn't matter if your coin shoots up 200,000%. If you don't take a profit on it, then that's what's called unrealized gains and you never made a dime. You could tell yourself you did, but you didn't <laughs> because that boat came and went and you didn't get on it. So a lot of what I talk about and what I help my members do is know where those profit taking opportunities are. And it is difficult. This market is hard. It's not for everybody because you have to like hold on to yourself and deal with the fact that the market can still go up a little bit more or still go down a little bit more when you buy in and still hold on for the levels that are the in and out levels of the market. And that is what I do. And I teach people, I mean, I have a whole section in my website, Crypto 101, which teaches people how to manage your portfolio and how to trade in pieces, you know, so that you don't miss those opportunities. And so because you can literally trade 10% of your portfolio and have that 10% make more than the 90% that you're holding safely for a rainy day when you're ready to take it out, right? When, when that magic moment comes, which experience has taught me, I've been in this market since 2016. People who do that don't know how to sell at the top. They don't know how to get out when it's time to get out. And they make a lot of mistakes because they haven't practiced getting used to how to do this. It's like you don't just ju look at the ocean and say, okay, when I'm ready, I'm going to go surfing. <laughs> You're going to learn, first of all, how to swim. Second of all, how to navigate the waves. You'll take some lessons. You'll learn about the moves that that market is making, and or not the market, that the ocean is making. The market is very much like the ocean. It operates with waves in a very similar way. So that's basically what I show people is where the waves are coming and where they're going. It doesn't matter if you get the top of every wave or the bottom of every wave. That's really like an expert move. Would you go out and expect to be, you know, one of these top surfers the first time you hit the wave? No, you would not. You would probably kill yourself. Like if you went out and tried to surf like Laird Hamilton, who does double over, who surfs like 100 foot waves out in the middle of the ocean, right? That's only for somebody who's pretty much half nuts, you know, half insane, because those giant waves, you have to be such a strong swimmer in order to just get out of the vortex of force that they create. So that's kind of my point here is that I am trying to democratize the whole process of trading, swing trading, right? And knowing how to find those points to come in and out of the market. And I don't know anybody else who does this the way I do. So um, if you're just sitting and waiting for a target, a price number in the market, maybe that'll work for you. I don't know. But like I said, you can have 10% of your portfolio that you do trade on swings that makes more than that 90% that you're just holding for that target number. So um, or at least as much, you know, like it's really a matter of, I can't tell you what you're going to do, right? It's a, it's an individual basis, but there are definitely big opportunities if you are able to swim a little bit and to, uh, get wet, you know, and, and to take some, take the plunge and make some moves yourself. So that is what my membership is devoted to. So, um, you can check it out. I definitely give people levels. I definitely give people prices. I know people sometimes get irritated when it doesn't go exactly in the same, in to a price level at a moment in time, but there are windows of opportunity when prices 
can happen and if they don't happen in a certain window then it might have it's going to happen in the next window because the price levels that i see are the price levels that the market goes to so it's a combination of astrology forecasting time windows and psychic vision to give you the levels that we're going to get to so having said that let's talk about this week what is going on astrologically this week oh i do ha- I, mean, I have one more piece of business which is that i am finishing up a book right now on veritasium very on what's going on with very what's going to happen with very i've done a number of videos on very i did them here on youtube you can go search them the book is based on that information compiles all the information from my very videos also the members only very videos that i did and additional information looking into the future of what is going to be happening with veritasium because for those of you who don't know veritasium is heavily tied to the uh, SEC case um, against XR with XRP that XRP has with because it's just the legal precedent ties them together. I go into all of this in that document, which is going to be available sometime in the next 10 days. So speaking of this week, what's going on? Saturn is changing directions today. Saturn, the Saturn hits the fan, right? The Saturn hits the fan. What does that mean? It means that the real T <laughs> gets, uh, gets things get real, okay? It's about to get very real here for all of you. It's about to get very real in the world. You're about to see some things that have been percolating beneath the surface, some of the uh, control factors, because Saturn rules control uh, governments, um, all that sort of thing, right? It's also necessary structures like the bones of your body, right? So all of that is getting ready to, um, we're about to see what's been going on behind the scenes. We're about to get certain uh, fingerprints being revealed of plans and operations that have been put into motion over the next six months they're going to become crystal clear and people who haven't been hearing the warnings or the you know the tinfoil hat people like me have been saying you know beware this doesn't look good there's a whole level of things that aren't good that are being set up by the government the government has never been on your side they're not your friend the government is behind some uh illness that's going on in the world all of this that those of us who have are proudly wearing our tinfoil hats have been saying for a very long time is going to smack people in the face it's going to get very obvious and we have the retrograde of mercury still in libra all about justice so there's a whole lot going on in the justice world in the system of justice and we are seeing a lot of lawsuits happening we have seen the uh, mandates and everything related to the um, shutdowns and everything in certain countries completely overturned because of the legal system because people went out and said hey show me this virus i want to see it because if it's a virus it should be able to be isolated, put on a slide somewhere, you should be able to look at it at a microscopic level and identify it and show us what it is, the isolated thing. Well, nobody can do that. So this is the legal question of the day. So um, you're gonna see, I mean, this is basically a lot of much ado about nothing, a whole lot of government push beware of the fights that are being created between people all this changing of planetary direction is definitely bringing up the conflicts that people have been able to kind of keep under the surface people have been sort of acting like it's not there i mean i had an argument with my brother the other day and i'm usually really good at not getting into an argument with him but um you know i had to present some of this to him like this doesn't make sense. I mean, really what it boiled down to in the conversation was I was saying, I want to see it. I kept saying it a few times in the conversation. He was getting angry. Stop asking me the same question. I'm like, well, why can't anybody answer that question? He said, if you go down this road and ask me this question again, I'm going to get angrier again. And I I said, listen, you know, if I was going to cross a river and somebody said, go ahead, walk across this wide river, 
I would ask them, how deep is it? How strong is that current? I'm not going to walk across it if I don't think I can make it. And uh, he said, well, what if they told you you don't need that question? That's the wrong question to ask. I would say, well, I'm not going to get past it. I'm not going into that river until I have an answer that gives me enough information where I verified that it's safe for me to go in there and walk across that river. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe it's full of rapids. You know, it looks pretty fast to me. I don't really want to jump in there. So that's my point is that I can't get past this idea. And I told him I'm a critical thinker. I analyze things. I ask questions about things. I dig deeply. That's what I do. That's why I've studied ancient languages and why I've studied Kabbalah, why I studied astrology since the time I'm nine years old. I have this insatiable curiosity to get to the bottom of things because I have this innate knowing that things have been separated that should be one. Okay, that we have all these things like all these like the sciences and language and color and sound have been separated and we've been taught them as separate disciplines when they're actually one unified source of information. So I have been trying to put the pieces together all my life. So my point here is that those battles of conflict of vision that may be going on in your world or, you know, with people that you know and love are going to be percolating and coming to the surface. And it's not a matter of giving in and not saying the truth, but it's a matter of finding ways to communicate that are kind and that are loving. I mean, I did get off the call with him without us having a fight. You know, we were able to kind of smooth it out. He's like, well, watch this guy. Okay, send me that video. I'll watch it. But maybe I'd like you to take a look into terrain theory versus germ theory. You might want to understand that because that is the essence of what this battle is. And this is why people are not getting along with each other is because ultimately those who like the idea of a artificial immune system are believing in germ theory and the idea that they're being attacked by something outside of them. Whereas terrain theory basically says that your own innate body is perfectly made by God to protect you and that we may have some false ideas about what makes us sick. So there are ways to strengthen your terrain, your own physical body that won't, nothing outside will really have an impact on it. That's what, that's why almost nobody dies from this, you know, illness. It's like, people who are healthy have a strong enough body to deal with it. And that's essentially what the argument is. So um, I didn't really mean to get into all that, but it is hitting the fan, right? You are going to have those kinds of battles with people. So, I mean, if you're talking to people, um, I don't recommend you try and get into battles, but let's take a look at the charts because we do have you know, Mars conjunct the sun, which is battle oriented. And, um, you know, Mercury is right there too. So of course I had this argument with my brother as Mars and Mercury are sitting on my, my own Mars and his retrograde Mercury as well. So, um, it's just an illustration of how astrology works. So, it's an opportunity though. The the retrogrades of Mercury and this particular like degree of fairness and communicating in a fair, non-battle directed way is an opportunity for all of us to heal these tendencies to be like, you're wrong. You know, I won't speak to you. You're not right. Um, ultimately, the reason I was able to get through that conversation with my brother is because he knows I love him. I told him again and again in the conversation how much I loved him, how much I cared about him, and how his well-being was what was most important to me. So um, keeping the peace isn't always, a, it isn't about giving up our opinions, isn't about not speaking. It's okay to speak. You just, if you do it in a kind and loving way, sometimes it can have an impact. I'm not saying it's going to in my case, but um you, you know, this is the lesson for all of us because what is being done is baiting of conflict. We are all being baited into big battles with other people. So, um, and we have not gotten to the squares. What's coming up over the next week to two weeks is the sun and Mars going into a square to Pluto. And that is battle zone big time. So 
watch out. Don't set yourself up. Don't open yourself up to be vulnerable right now. Um, even if someone's really charming to you, Mark, Mercury is very charming. Libra, I mean, not Mercury, Libra. And uh, all these planets in Libra, the sun, Mars, and Mercury are very charming, have a good way of sort of getting on your good side and getting what they want out of you. So don't open yourself up if you know someone doesn't you know, could hurt you. Don't give them, inf don't give people the bullets to shoot you with because Pluto is going, to, you know, these planets are making a square to Pluto and it's going to be all about power in the next uh, couple of weeks. So watch out because there's a, there's like a, it's like the, the, the serpent that, that slithers up and, and speaks and whispers in your ear and then turns around. And then as soon as you just get all comfortable and let your guard down, it bites you that's what's coming so be careful um yeah that's uh that's coming up that mars square pluto and the sun square pluto is you know i mean on like the co collective level it can be a president speaking about battle it can be a uh, warlike activity so these things are highly possible and likely right now because saturn just went direct saturn goes direct on monday today the 11th it's been slowing down for the last few days and it's going to speed up. i mean it takes about a week to get back up to speed next week as we go into the real saturn hitting the fan and um saturn is moving towards a square with Uranus and that will be the point where um, this populist versus government control uh, conflict reaches a critical peak and that is coming that will be on the 19th so the middle of this month is going to be very intense you're gonna see a lot of battle and a lot of conflict and I do feel that this you know you don't want to be involved you want to keep yourself out of those kinds of battles because that is not that's basically a no-win situation right we don't want to fight against the police we don't want the police hurting us we don't want to get into a direct conflict these are all people are all being manipulated into this battle by proxy so there's no winning in that battle there's no way to win it the only way to win is with the truth and shining the light so please stay in your heart please don't get sucked into the battles that are coming it's going to get very very brutal in the coming weeks here it's going to get really intense um so this week is kind of a setup for things that are coming that are not going to be too pleasant venus however is going to make a nice aspect with saturn makes an, a little sextile to saturn um coming up over the next few a day over this week and that does allow us to make some good planning moves and to be very strategic with our resources and our assets um, handle complicated ideas it's a point of philosophy it's a point of having a philosophical outlook that serves us so having a sense of values that we can philosophically hold to having a sense of truth and vision is going to get us through in terms of our resources and knowing that we are um, prepared in the way we need to be and also aligning with people who see things and feel things the same way we do um, is really highlighted this week because if you can see up at the top of this chart um, uh, Chiron on the midheaven right there uh, in Aries really highlights uh, unifying with people of a similar philosophy. I just did a video with a, uh, a community building guy, um, Steph Stefan Verstappen, and he was great. He gave us so much information. Uh, that video is free. I will post it on my website. It is um, going to be out there on the in the blog as a free post. It was about two hours of content where he talked about all kinds of great stuff uh, about how to team up with people who see things the same way as you. So please go to my website and at the very least sign up for the blog um, because that's going to be released uh, in the next day or two as a you know a video for everybody that you can watch. It's already recorded. It's already on Crowdcast. So that's going to be open to everybody. And it's got great information about teaming up with other people. And he talks about having like decentralized kind of community, which is really uh, valuable. So um, that's what makes us strong. OK, and this is really highlighted this week. This is going to make it crystal clear to quite a few people because of the actions, the hardships, the difficulties that are going to show up, that people are going to start to really crystallize in their minds that it is really important to have that network of people who are 
on your same page. Okay. It's really important. This is the family, the soul family, right? So, um, that's going to be significant this week. Uranus is not getting any good, um, energy. Well, I mean, a little bit from Mercury will make a, a nice, uh, aspect to, uh, Uranus, which is called a quinsunx. Um, but that's like very fast. That's going to happen in the next day or two. And then uh, the only like sort of population energy, the only energy that's affecting humanity is a lot of tension and stuff that's all about the internet and technology. Remember we had outages uh, just a few days ago, like uh, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, all these platforms went down. Well, that pressure and that energy is continuing. I do expect we could have more things like that take place in this next um, week. So uh, be prepared for that because uh, the, the, there's solutions. And usually this is what I've noticed about sort of spirit is spirit gives us the solutions just as the problems are appearing. So even though we have issues and difficulties, the solutions are also the seeds of the solution is in the problem. This is a esoteric saying that the seed of the solution is inside the problem. So uh, and then we have the nodes uh, still in Gemini, still all about communication, uh, duality, also some sort of um, things not necessarily being overt or on the surface, some kind of treachery being be careful. This is this is a big, strong message this week is to be careful that not everybody is telling you the truth or trying to get close to you or be your friend or speak to you because they have your interest at heart. They may act like it and then turn around and bite you. So the point here is don't give people unnecessary information um, and don't just don't give people the bullets to shoot you with in their gun. Um, if, if someone was to turn out to be a, a not an ally, a, f a foe instead of a friend. So don't just trust quickly or easily is essentially the thing. I'm not saying to be paranoid, you know, be continue to stay close to the people that you know are your friends. But um, be careful about those who sort of, you know, purr up and rub up against your leg like a cat and act suddenly like they're your friend because they may not be so uh, cozy in a week. Okay, so be aware of what is coming. Um, the uh, the Neptune right now is in a pretty nice little sextile with Pluto. So there is a lot of opportunity to set up long-term success, long-term opportunity, make long-term changes. These are not sudden overnight things. This is long-term planning and strategizing. So that is laying the foundation for all of that. So just hang in there. Uh, take it easy, keep moving forward with what you want to do. There isn't, even though there's a lot of change going on in the, in the world, there's no need to run off like it's an emergency this moment. It's This is still time. There's still time. I mean, not necessarily a lot of time, but we can still be continuing to prepare ourselves. And that's important to know that we are still in prep mode. We're still in preparation for a lot of um, stuff that's coming. The, uh, the big news really is going to be Saturn squaring Uranus, which comes up on the 19th, which is early next week. And we're going to see by the end of this week, some really big, uh, conflicts and dramas in, uh, the world of between the government and the people between the, and also big legal stuff. It's really the, the, the legal stuff, which is the systems for humanity. Um, and also internet, like just stuff coming up through digital technology being uh, life lessons for all of us that has to do with being uh, self-sufficient and being uh, detached, being able to handle what we need, having our network of people. All of these things are coming up around the Saturn changing of directions here this week because um, it's just a pretty big deal. And then next week we're going to have Jupiter and Mercury change directions. So this month is all about planets changing directions. And as Saturn uh, starts moving forward, then we're going to start to get uh, Jupiter moving backwards. And um, it's just, it's like a lot of players on the field and everybody suddenly jumping into the limelight and trying to make like, hey, look over here. Hey, look over here. Hey, look over here. It's like lots of events, lots of news, maybe uh, some sudden uh, like 
false flags or just just big events that uh, are very distracting. You're going to get a lot of distraction in the media. And this week is going to be a lot of the obstacles and hardships and seeing of the plans being rolled out. And it's up to us what we do with it. But there's a lot of opportunity for us to team up and to form networks of uh, foundations with uh, people who have our back. And that's going to be really, really important as things unfold to be tied in with your network of people. Just uh, sort of your neighborhood isn't going to be enough. Um, You really need to have those people who have skills, assets, resources. Go watch the video that's going to be on my site that's free from uh, Stefan Verstappen. He has this great set of uh, tools, books, information, all kinds of knowledge that's going to be very, very useful in the near future and long future. So um, that's it this week. Also, um, I gave you guys a heads up about what my membership is about and that there is a, I'm putting out a book about the Veritasium process and what's going on with that and what the timing is that's coming on Veritasium. The, we know that the X, XRP lawsuit is uh, ready for hearing. It's up to be seen this month in October. It's going to have a massive impact on the market. Um, well, on all of crypto because this is a big uh, present. It has, it's a big case. It has a lot to do with what's the future. And this is the time window when I said that uh, XRP was going to be dealt with, that the legal stuff was going to start to get settled around XRP. I did not expect solutions before this, even when the court dates weren't set yet. I knew it would be happening in October of this year. So um, I will be putting a lot more very specific detail, very specific detail into the very report about when stuff is going to start happening around that coin. So it's going to be available coming up here in the next uh, week or two. So that is it. Uh, Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I wish you all well. Have a great week. And I will talk to you again next week. Bye bye.